struggling with energy bills. Find out how to get help now. Are you finding it difficult to pay your energy bills? If so, you're not alone. In this video, we'll share with you some additional resources that might help you get assistance now. Whether you're facing financial hardship or you just don't have the time to pay your bills on your own, we've got you covered. Watch this video and we'll take you step by step through the process of getting help from the government. There's no need to suffer in silence, we can help. Before we start the video, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe our channel for upcoming updates by UK governments and other very interesting content on various topics. Many households continue to struggle to pay their energy bills, as prices remain at an all-time high. Announcing the spring budget last week, the Chancellor Jeremy Hunt said the financial help for energy bills will be extended for a further three months from April to June at its current level, capping the typical annual household bill at £2,500. The Energy Price Guarantee, EPG, had been due to rise to £3,000 in April and the cost of scrapping the planned 20% increase will amount to around £3 billion. But while this has come as good news to some, many are still finding their bills are at an unmanageable level. However, there are some additional help methods available to bill payers. One of these includes asking to be added to the Priority Services Register, this offers free help and support if you are in a vulnerable situation. You are eligible if you have reached your state pension age, are disabled or have a long-term medical condition, are recovering from an injury, have a hearing or sight condition, have a mental health condition, are pregnant or have young children, have extra communication needs, such as if you don't speak or read English well, need to use medical equipment that requires a power supply, have poor or no sense of smell, would struggle to answer the door or get help in an emergency. You may still be able to register for other reasons, such as if you need short-term support after a hospital stay. Help you can get if added to the register, according to Ofgem, includes wherever possible, advanced notice of scheduled power cuts. If you rely on your energy supply for medical reasons your network operator can tell you about planned power cuts. For example, when they plan engineering work. Priority support in an emergency. Priority support when calling your network operator. Identification and password scheme. This could include arranging a password or agreed on picture cards if callers need to visit or contact you. This way you can feel confident they are genuine. Nominee scheme. You can nominate someone to receive communications and bills from your supplier. For example, a family member, carer, or someone you trust. Help with prepayment meter access. For example, moving a meter if you can't safely get to it to top up. Regular meter reading services. For example, if nobody can read your meter. Accessible information. For example, account info and bills in large print or braille. Help reconnecting your gas supply if you need it. How to register. Energy suppliers and network operators will both keep a priority services register, so you should contact these if you think you should be added. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video will be helpful for you. Please subscribe our channel for more interesting videos and please don't forget like, share and comment. Thank you.